What I want to ask is if any of you would like to do a meet and greet with us and enjoy and visit in Dumaguete. Well, I cleaned up here around the boat and hooked onto it with the truck and backed it up a little bit. I tell you, I was going to back it all the way out of here um, down towards where we've been doing that work down there. But, man, they're toting concrete and they're going to have to get up beside it, go around it with bags and all. So I'll wait a couple more days. Just anxious, wanting to put in the water soon. I put the what they call the muffs on it yesterday back here these muffs here and uh cranked it up on the muffs it fired right up and all so i actually wanted to run it a little bit more on the muffs and then want to pull water all up here everywhere so i backed it on back here further to where this slopes down and i'm going to run it again and this time hopefully all the water will run down away from there This is that native hammock, or as you uh, would mostly know, but Filipinos call duyan. And I've had it out soaking in the seawater today because it'll get those little tiny little boars that'll eat everything up, make tiny little holes and hollow it out, kind of like a termite, but it's not a termite. Um, I forget the name they call that. It's got a funny little name. But... Nevertheless, you can soak that in seawater and the salt water will stop them. So we put a stone down in the middle of it and we tied a rope on it and put it out there and soaked it in the seawater for a while. And don't they look nice and neat? Man, we're filling the sand up on the side. Uh, if you can see way down there where the boat is, way down there where the boat is and the boat's even all hollow underneath it. We have been backfilling this beach. Man, I, I'm telling you, the beach right now, overall, is about four foot higher than what it was when we left to go back to Texas. Yeah, back in um, the end of July. It is about four foot higher. And as we're doing any work and digging any sand out, we're moving the sand and bringing it up even more. And people are really liking it too, man. They are. The the locals, they have had a real positive attitude about it, man. And that's cool. And uh, stop that river and swamp going on across right here. I seen that some of the locals was out there bagging sand and putting it in that big hole over there on the other side. And they raised up an area across it about 16 inches high across there. Pretty wide path. So good on them for that, where they don't have to walk in that muck over there. We get this um, sand built up a little bit more across right over in here. Down through here, we're going to plant a few more coconuts in. been waiting for my shift cables to arrive before I put that outboard off the back of that sea ray that that Yamaha before I put it back on the banca again I've been waiting for my shift cables to come so I can put the forward remote the forward controls in and all and my steering already came well today I said well I, I'll get out the remote shifter that I'm going to use I had two different Yamaha remote shifters 
and uh, darn if a piece is missing off the one that I was going to use a little release mechanism I could probably use it like it is but I don't want to so then I have another one but that's for uh, really a bigger engine and uh, I mean it'll work I had another one that really didn't want to waste it on this little bonka boat because it's a really nice control I'm trying to see there's some bicycles out front You go see, my garage is open. I'm seeing somebody buy it. Ah, sales ladies. What are they selling? Uh, if you want to in oh, no. Well, I was talking about that and I had a little distraction. I could see people moving around by my garage up here and I had the front door open. Of course, you want to be aware if any, uh, excuse me there. <laughs> of course, you want to be aware if any kids or somebody sneaking into your garage. So I was telling you about the shifter on the boat. Well, lo and behold, uh, I remember I had a third shifter here. I know it's crazy, but y'all don't know I'm really into a lot of boat stuff. So I, I had one, and I said, where is that third shifter? So I went to looking for it, and I'm like, well, this shifter's got cables on it when I found it. And uh, the cables all look good. I shift it forward, reverse the throttle, everything sliding smooth, everything looked great. And I remember I thought those cables were kind of short before. So I took it out there to the Bonka boat, um, placed it up on the side, ran the cables back to where the outboard would be, and lo and behold, it was the perfect fit. I didn't even need to order cables. Man, uh. I'll make use out of them somehow, sometime, or I'll put them over on one of those Yamaha controls. So who knows? I might have another project come along because I love building and I love tinkering and doing things. So um, it's a Johnson brand control, but it will work on that Yamaha just the same. It's a white one. Um, I'm going to just kind of retouch the paint on it and all and get it on there. Here, I'll show it to you. And there it is right there, a little Johnson control. It's got your tilt right there which i won't need on that motor and uh i'll probably just honestly probably just nip those off um and get rid of that but the cables are in great shape it's all functioning and just ready to bolt on i just do a little clean up and a little touch up on uh some paint there on it and i think it's going to be really nice Miss Mel's out here checking out her plants, but look at this deal she got right here, man. She's got this stuff growing. It grows so easy, actually, this deal does. Yeah. That was just some little stems or something you stuck in the ground before, right? Yeah, I kept on it. Several, but it's, you know, never so bad. Isn't that just beautiful, man? Those are just amazing. Really yeah. amazing. I wish not no more strong wind fan because so they already started flowering. My oh. baby. Yeah, I sure have. Look, I can harvest. They're growing good. Why don't you put that coconut in for the chickens to eat? Yes, yeah, the chickens love to eat the one. Yeah, it'll be in there. They'll peck every bit of that yeah. coconut out right there. That's yeah, good that's nutrition I, for them. That's what I did uh, last, uh, you know, yesterday. I seen them. They cleaned them too. Yes. Yeah, that'd be really good for them. Look at all the lemongrass she has, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Lots of lemongrass. Well, I plant a new one because I'm planning to plant all this year with lemongrass. So for you that don't know, um, lemongrass, not only can you cook with it and all, but it's also a mosquito deterrent, a natural one. And uh, you can extract the oil. You can buy this oil extracted from lemongrass, and that's what beekeepers use. Yes. They don't use lemon oil squeezed from lemons. They use lemon oil f that's actually derived from this lemon grass. And that draws bees. And if they're trying to start a new hive and all, they'll use that to help attract bees to it. I see that. You got some young ones back yeah, there. It's going to be like a whole hedge of lemongrass yeah. across here, huh? Boy. This is what gets me. See, this stuff right here is what I tear up a, oh, the lawnmower. I to ask them not to put that concrete out here. You see what is this? This is my labuyo. And what kind of pepper you call this one? Labuyo. 
And it's a really spicy one? Yes. We cleaned the 45 days tray today, and I had Marvin to dump all that down in here where you got this compost going right here. Mm. So uh, that should help enriching it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's nice. Nice, nice. So I'm wanting to get all this cleaned up out here. I didn't know those boys was going to stack all that bamboo down there, and I really don't like it. So here soon I'm going to clean all that up. Good morning everybody. Good morning to a very cloudy and rainy day here in the Philippines. It was uh, so beautiful earlier, man. You could look out across the water, man. It was like glass as far as you could see, man. And you could see a long ways. And there was a few fishermen out and stuff, you know, doing their thing. And it was so beautiful. There are boats out there on that water. And my brother-in-law Richard and Melinda's sister, Marilyn, they were swimming down there in front of where they're at. Mel and I, we were down here swimming in front of where we're at. We were just enjoying. Far in the distance was a storm and lightning and thunder. And man, it was just a beautiful morning. Didn't record it our private time. And uh, we decided, well, the guys are about to be here for work. We better come on up, clean up, shower, and show them what to do. But man, it came. And I sent the guys home. I told them, let's see what it is at lunch. Maybe we'll do a half day or something. But one of the brothers, with all this storm going on, man, he's running his boat to go out and go fishing. They are tough people now. I tell you, they're tough. I said, brother, be careful. Oh, I'm okay. Man, he's heading right out into this. And uh, it's good fishing time for him. He's excited that he can go fishing this morning. So, uh, me... I'm inside, I can just chill and relax, man. I don't have to be doing nothing but chill. It's actually a day, a rainy day like this, man. I just love to chill. David's waving down our tricycle skills here. Will he get one? If the dog pays any attention to him. Ah, oh, poor David. Even the dog, he didn't care. Oh, oh, oh. Well, the dog peed. <laughs> now he's checking. Now he's checking David out. Uh oh. Uh oh. David's backing away. It's a standoff. It's a standoff. <laughs> David's getting scared. Dog's creeping. Uh oh, he did the wave. Any luck? Any luck? Uh 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 uh. Booyah! He got one. Beep, beep, beep. 
<laughs> and he's off. Man, just look at this life I live right here. Look at this life I live. Look, just look at my nieces, what beautiful young ladies they're turning into. It's hard to believe you're only 11 years old, right? Right? Yes. Huh? Yeah. 11. Not 12. You're 11. Yeah. Yeah, I have to correct you on your age. And you're just turning such beautiful young ladies. So, Melinda, just you just bought these dresses, right? Yes. Yes. And you got those at Uka Uka. No, I bought them in the U.S. Oh, you bought these in the U.S. That's right, that's right. And you've had them in there in the closet. Yes. And you transferred them to the other closet now. So Mel's been in there doing, like, dress-up with their girls, you know, with the twins. And and uh, they've been coming out one by one modeling for me here while I've been sitting here doing some editing. It's uh, just unreal. I see these girls grow up in front of me when when... I come into the picture, they were tiny little babies in diapers, and now I'm just blown away that they're turning into these beautiful and and getting tall young ladies. Um, they're they're outgrowing their their Aunt Melinda. Go over and stand by them. I know they got some heels on right now, but I'm telling you, go over even without the heels, they're <laughs> they're already outgrowing Melinda. <laughs> Uh, it's funny, you man. Feel <laughs> and just look at the life I'm living, though. Woo! Beautiful. I'm so lucky. Got all this sunshine in here all the time, <laughs> man. <laughs> I, I <laughs> You're so funny. Mama Melinda's trying to take your picture. <laughs> That's why you fell on the steps right there. Yeah, goofy. <laughs> uh, this is my partner right here for real. He found my dress there. Wow. <laughs> I know, they're just growing I mean, up. I did, they like my style, though. They like <laughs> we found it They're very beautiful in those dresses, without a doubt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to share that. I'm sitting here, I actually added a video out for you guys. And they keep saying uncle, and they keep coming in here in front of the, the TV here, doing a spin modeling with all their pretty little uh, outfits and all on. And, and I'm just like, Wow, 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 wow. And then here they come again. This is what I do with Melinda all the time, too. She comes out, she goes to Uka Uka, spends literally like 80 cents or a dollar on a nice dress that would cost no ten. how much in a store back in the U.S. Pretty nice quality dresses. She just went and did it again for literally 80 cents or a dollar. I mean, it's mind-blowing. And then she models for me, and I don't... I uh, don't stop her. I'm like, yeah, you just keep on modeling them dresses for me, love. Melinda's so pretty in long dresses like that right there. Man, she's just beautiful in them. When I first got with Melinda, she was always wearing these long, beautiful summer dresses. And I liked it so much. And then she quit wearing them. And she started just like wearing cut-off shorts all the time. And I went, I ain't going to complain about that either. Us country boys, you know, we really love us some Daisy Dukes, you know. And... Uh, this is a special news bulletin. The latest craze that seems to be sweeping the fashion scene these days are those Daisy Duke jeans. You know, and uh, she's then got where she's just wearing tights all the time. You know, always tights, tights, tights. Oh, tight, 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 yeah! doing all the Zumba thing, but here recently she's been going back to putting on these beautiful summer dresses again and even doing her chores around her in these beautiful summer dresses. And I just love that. And she just looks so beautiful in them. And uh, makes me a very happy man here. This house is just full of beautiful faces, except this one. <laughs> it's not. 
Man, they are back in here again. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Man. My camera's magic. It makes you look pretty. I mean, I know really you look abnormal in real life, but my magic camera really helps. <laughs> Wow, that is so cool. Step, step right over right over there. I want to see you good. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> work it, girl. Work it. Oh, oh, oh that's old. Oh, that's the It's silly. I uh, love you, girls. Good morning, everybody. Good morning from a beautiful day. So I've been going through all of our snorkeling gear and swimming gear and GoPros and everything, all of it. And I'm cleaning it, doing some repairs, uh, repacking only what we need and put the other away until we do need it because we are leaving here yes we are leaving and we are going on a trip so i had already planned that i wanted to go over to negros and i'm i love going over the negros but uh it's a great place so we're a nice place but we'd already planned with some friends to make a trip over there but that's gonna have to be a different trip than this one but my brother-in-law melinda's sister bought a property on the beach in Negros and no it ain't Dumaguete so get that out of your mind but they they bought a beachfront property and we're supposed to be helping them move on Monday so we're gonna pack up our truck and their truck on Sunday back them here in my garage and be ready for early Monday morning to head out, go to Domingos Port, get the trucks on, head to Bacallit, and start the journey across um, around and down to where we gotta go right there. So then after we unload from them, Mel and myself are gonna head on down uh, the coast there from their house, and we're gonna head down to Dumaguete. There's something I wanna go pick up down there in Dumaguete, and uh, hopefully it's still there. I'll check with my friend Dexter and make sure it is. And I'm gonna go see my friend Dexter, and go see Justin, um, go see Julian, and visit a few other people, but um, they already know, they already know that I'm coming. And what I wanna ask is if any of you would like to do a meet and greet with us and enjoy and visit in Dumaguete, okay? So if any of you are interested in that, comment and be serious come on man don't waste my time be serious if you want to do a meet and greet well let's set up a meet and greet and visit with each other and have good fellowship and some good positive conversation let's have some good clean soul nurturing conversation and enjoyment and fellowship with each other and uh, man, I just think that would be great. And there's so many of you that I would enjoy to meet that we didn't get to meet when we were there back uh, about five months ago. So uh, really look forward to hearing from you guys. If you wanna do that, well then I'll comment and I'll set something up and we'll set up a date and I'll let you know. I mean, I will not delay. I'll put out a video, I'll put out a community a post and all and let you all know. So I look forward to hearing from you on that. 